everyone. Today is a very gloomy day. Very dull, very boring, I guess. Well, it seems boring to some people. Uh, this type of weather normally happen during these times of the month. Like, I remember back in the day. Like, especially in 2017, oh boy. Like, it used to rain a lot, and sorry if this is a mess or whatever. I'm not, I'm not gonna apologize too much, okay? We had to put this thing because of ants. You can see some, like, dust, but look carefully. Those are some ant particles. Basically, we had ant, ant problems in the beginning of the year, or last year. I can't remember, okay? Um, but anyways, uh, what happened was back in 2017 was it was flooding. Like, so much of water all over the floor. Thankfully, I never go to school that day because I actually saw it. And, like, my plugs is just, you know... It's just right on the bottom, so it's like... And plus my Xbox 360 used to be there, I think. I'm not too sure. I can't remember what used to be there, but... I know for a fact plugs used to be there. Like a different adapter. Smaller one, but... Like, you know, not a fancy one like this. Not a freaking surge protector, but, you know... It was there, and I'm glad I at least, you know... Saw the water coming through. Because that was just a bit scary to just, just you know, see it flood. Um... And yeah, I remember those days. I was so weird back in the day, and I still am weird, but I'm trying to improve. It's it's weird thinking back. I know last year I said I wasn't going to do it so much, but I keep on doing it sometimes just to relax me, I guess. Well, that was the main reasons, I guess, why I kept looking back. Every year I say, oh, next year is going to be so much better. Well, guess what? Next year came. It's not so best, you know, all the stuff going on. It's it's not the best year, to be honest. But it's like last year. It wasn't so much my best year. More of a relaxing year in the beginning of the year, like the first half. That seems so much better. The entire year seems so much better now. Bes besides, uh, you know, just thinking of some random stuff, whatever. But everything else seemed cool in that year compared to this. Trust me, everything is like... You just want to compare it to it. Oh, next year it's going to get better, obviously. I'm just kidding. It's, it's not going to get better. Possibly get worse. Like, I really hated 2018. I learned to love it a lot because the memories I had. And just yesterday thinking about the people I met online in 2018, the people I fell in love with. This one person I fell in love with back in 2018, like the beginning, changed my mood forever. I remember just... You know, seeing your face and just being so excited, you know. Those were the days, honestly. Just a few years ago, but still, those were the days. The best day ever. One of the best days ever to see your face. And then I was so happy. I was so happy. That that was like early Feb. Yeah, early February. And ever since then, like, I I had a lot happening in the background too. But I was keep, I was keeping on just... My English sucks. I'm sorry. I was um, keeping just... What, what am I trying to say? I kept on pushing forward and forward a bit with my YouTube and stuff like that. The only thing that kept me sane a bit was that. Uh, and plus, in love. Like, I remember, so in love. And then I got into politics. And, like, don't get me wrong, politics still help with my breakup a bit at the end of the year. Focus on that and, you know... Just worry about other things, you know? Plus, the, the sub-war. You all know the T-Series versus PewDiePie sub-war. That sub-war was amazing. I miss that sub-war a lot because, like, that also distracted me. I had moments where I could go on the subreddit or something like that. And then just, you know, uh, look at the memes and stuff and laugh. It was such a good time back in the day, but... And it was so weird now just to talk about it. Talk about it as if it's some kind of, some kind of just, just quick memory, you know? Like, this year will just feel like a quick memory. A few months ago feels like a quick memory. Uh, I really hope I get to spend it well. Even if I'm, you know, freaking staying at home, which I've been doing for the last few years. Uh, I hope I can at least accomplish a lot more. Well, I have with a lot of ideas, but I need to put those ideas to work. Now that I have a nice keyboard... I can at least do something, you know? I can make something. I can do a lot more now. 
I am not um, cooped up to just just do nothing. I can do something now. And I'm ready for it. Um, at the end of the day, I just want to say I'm happy that I got to this point. Um, and sometimes you never really look back and all the hardships you've been through, you know. I just hope things get better at the end of the day. Everything gets better. I have learned from my mistakes, obviously. I keep on learning from them. And I'll never want to repeat my mistakes, ever. Because repeating your mistakes is just bad enough already. Do it once, it's a mistake, you know. Yeah, you didn't mean to do it, you didn't do it, like, you didn't mean to do it. Like, you know, like quickly dating someone. Let's use that as an, as an example. You didn't mean to jump so ahead, but when you did, it was just for the spare of the moment. And then, boom, you just realize it's not the best thing to do right now and whatever. And then you had to break up and stuff. It's like those things really taught me that I shouldn't jump the gun a bit. I should be more careful. I should always be more careful because you never know what's going to happen with anything like this. I have learned a lot over this past year. What I've learned so far this year is never get easily manipulated by sweet talk, by, um, you know, sadness or anything like that. Never do. Please don't. Never ever do. Because trust me, the more you allow that to happen, the more you just give in, the more people can take advantage of you. And, and at the end, if you, if you, you know, keep on doing that, at the end it's going to be much more hard for you to stop that nonsense, you know. Um, and there we go. That's just it. Uh, there's a lot of context behind that, but it made me realize that I have to be stern a bit, you know. I have to be stern. I can't just, I can't just be so happy all the time or be so worried, you know. It's like, if someone's going to be sad and because I have to do something, then let them be sad. I have to do something, you know. I can't be like this forever where I just be taken advantage of, you know. All the time that happened, and I wish I learned that back in school, you know. There were some people, not all, but some people used to just do that, and I never really feel, felt well, but I'm glad I had friends at those times. But now it's like, you know, you can easily get manipulated online, and trust me, it, it's very bizarre when that happens. You need to put your foot down. You definitely need to. That's just my advice to everyone out there, and I'm going to take that from now on. To always put my foot, foot down and never say, uh... Oh, you sad, please don't do this or that. Like, I will take in consideration when it comes to, like, certain people. Like, certain things. But there were some people out there who just use this, use certain feelings for, for manipulation. Like, I don't want to give too much examples. But someone online I was talking to for the past few months. So I, I did talk to this person. And basically, it's like... This person just used sadness to manipulate me, in my opinion. J just for me to, sh just for me to, you know. I'm not gonna tell the full context, but it was a bit weird that I did that. And I, I'm an idiot for falling for that. And ever since then, I realized I, well, I can't do that. I can't be falling for nonsense, you know. That's what I've learned this year, and I want to take it to art. Finally, grew up on this, and finally take it up, you know. I uh, hope that makes sense. Well, basically, I'm, I'm trying to say is that I finally grow up and learn from something, you know. This year I learned that, one, you should never be easy to be manipulated with, and two, never ever give in to small emotions. Small emotions as in, like, a few small talk just just to try and change your mind. People can do that, and I'm sorry, but it won't work on me anymore. Okay? Anyways, that's just it. Bye-bye. Hope you enjoy your day. Uh, tell me what weather it is in your place, because it's still gloomy right now. So, yeah. Bye-bye.